Hey guys, welcome back to Nurse Jinx. I'm Dave, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about nursing.com, specifically their NCLEX product. So I'm on their website right now, and I just wanna show you a couple things before we really dive into it. Um, so this is a product that is being used by, now they're saying 300,000 students, the 99.42% pass rate for the NCLEX, and if I can find it, 200% money back guarantee. That is absolutely unheard of. Um, you know, the things that I care about most in an NCLEX product are basically the money back guarantee and of course the passing rate. And these guys deliver on both. That's the highest pass rate I've seen so far at 99.42%. And it's also by far the highest money back guarantee of not just 100%, but 200%. Uh, they even say it's our famous semi-crazy 200% money back guarantee. I could not agree more, that is insane. But that just shows you their confidence that they're probably not having to deliver on that very often because if they were, this business model would absolutely bankrupt them. So um, that's very reassuring. Before we dive too far into, I just wanted to say that I've actually partnered up with nursing.com to be able to provide you guys with a free three-day trial to this product. So I'm gonna put a link in the description. You guys can click that, head over to nursing.com and use promo code NURSEJANKS and that will give you a free three-day trial to this product. That way you can kind of test it out, see if it's something you think is gonna work well for you. You can try it before you buy it. I love that. Um, so this is the dashboard. When you log in, you're gonna see this. Up here, I actually picked an NCLEX day. Um, they actually let you pick one, so that way you can just kind of have that reminder in your head of, oh, hey, I have this many days left, nice little touch. Down here, I like this, this is NCLEX study plans. And basically, you can pick the study plan that's gonna fit for your timetable. So if you know you're taking the test in four weeks, you click the four-week study plan. Um, so see what happens right here. It gives you this nice little study plan that's going to help you guys focus on what you need to focus on. Like I said, these guys have a 99.42% pass rate and a 200% money back guarantee. So I wouldn't even worry about trying to come up with your own study plan. Just leave it to them. They've done this before. They know what they're doing. Just trust them. Pick whatever study plan fits your timetable and go with that. Um, one of the nice things in here, you can see they have brain breaks, which is pretty sweet. They have at least one per week. And even if you only had two weeks, which I think is a little bit tight to study, um, but try to do all this and that way you can make sure that you're gonna have a decent study plan that's going to prepare you adequately for the NCLEX. Um, I already started watching something, but anyways, if you go into the NCLEX prep course, you are going to see there are 349 lesson plans that have been created for various sections related to the NCLEX. If you guys click on one of these, you'll see there's a more detailed breakdown. It pretty much is you know, has everything categorized. So you could go to cultural care. You click on this and you're gonna see there is a video for every single lesson plan, 349. That's nuts. And this is not a short little video. This is eight minutes and 40 seconds. And there's a quiz associated with everyone as well. So instead of having to go all the way to the practice question center, you can just take your quiz related to the content that you're on right now. Uh, you can look at the video transcript if you really want to. You can come up with a study plan. You can just take the quiz, which is really nice and easy, just gives you some questions. Jumping back to the dashboard a little bit here, I decided to go ahead and do some practice questions and they have over 6,000 practice questions in their database, so that's a ton. And you guys can basically create a quiz with a certain number of questions. You can pick all of the categories or you can kind of just narrow it down into the category that you really wanna learn about. Let's say you really wanna practice with ear, nose, and throat. So you pick that one, you say start quiz. Just made myself a little five question quiz. So now I have a SATA question. Lovely, I hate SATA. I'm just gonna pick these so you guys can see what's going to happen. So I got this question wrong. I didn't really read it or anything, but I just wanted to show you what's gonna happen. So basically when you get the question wrong, it's gonna show you what's wrong. It's gonna show you what's correct. And it's gonna give you the reasons as to why. If you guys go down, you can see the amount of people who actually got that correct. You can rate the quality of the question. That way, if it's a bad question, they can kind of get feedback on that, try to make sure their questions are high quality. Um, this one didn't do it. I did wanna get an example of a question that's going to have something. Okay, so I got this question correct, and here's what I wanted to see. So this is an example of when you have a question and there's actually an associated lesson plan and cheat sheet with it. This is incredible. So you click down here, and instead of just having like a rationale to read, look, I got a nine minute, 48 second video related to macular degeneration, which was what this question was talking about. I clicked the video, it's this nice little logo load up, and there's an entire PowerPoint presentation talking about macular degeneration, more than I would probably ever want to learn, but hey, Nice that they gave you that. And it gives you a cheat sheet. So if you guys look over here, you're gonna see a snapshot essentially of what you need to know about macular degeneration. This is very nice curated rationale related stuff. Once again, you have your uh, percentage of people who actually got this question correct. And you can rate the quality of the question. This one obviously got a pretty good score, 27 thumbs ups, only one thumbs down. Um, 
All right, so we can go to the next question. You can cancel the quiz at any time if you don't want to record it, but basically it's gonna keep track of your performance if you go over to this tab and then you can look up your past quizzes over here. Um, all right, let's head back to our dashboard here. This nice little button up here, you can do that. So here's one of the biggest things that I really like about nursing.com, and this is something that no one else is really doing, at least not that I've seen evidence of. This is the Simplex right here. This is incredible. This is actually like an NCLEX simulation. And I think they say they're really the only people doing that, although I have read from some other companies, like I believe Kaplan, that they're trying to do some computer adaptive testing as well. So basically this is very much beyond practice questions where you basically pick a certain number of questions and then you just take those exact questions and then it gives you a score. This is an actual NCLEX simulation. So as you can see here, they've modeled this very much so after the NCLEX. Um, they actually are even staying up to date with the COVID-19 changes to the NCLEX, but at the moment there's a minimum of 75 questions and a maximum of 145 questions. There's a five hour time limit. You have to, of course, treat this like a rail NCLEX. So you basically, you're going to get a break, I believe. Yeah, you can take two 15 minute breaks during the test. If you choose to exit the exam prior to finishing, you will not receive a pass fail grade, nor will your results be available. So I am going to go ahead and take one of my SimClexes so you guys can kind of see what this looks like. Um, I'm not going to be really as worried because this is for demonstration purposes, so I'm not trying to pass or fail. Okay, first off, straight out the gate, I can tell you guys with certainty because I have taken the NCLEX, this looks exactly like the NCLEX. Uh, and they're not the only people doing this, let's be fair, but this is very spot on. This looks exactly like it, down to the color scheme, down to the layout, this is 100% perfect. Let's check this one out. A nurse is being put on probation because of failure to provide safe and effective client care. Which of the following examples of the nurse violence standards of the nursing process? Okay, so yeah, basically we're trying to think of anything here that is definitely not something you're allowed to do as a nurse. Nurse fails to report on unsafe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not good. A nurse was supervising a nursing assistant after delegating a task. That seems fine. A nurse fails to respond to a change in client status that results in deterioration. Absolutely, that's not good. Does not respond to what then to be a timely period. I don't feel like, I think that is so subjective that I don't want to pick that one. If that's a correct answer, then that pisses me off. <laughs> Okay, a nurse preceptor is discussing drug absorption with a student nurse and asks which route absorbs medication the fastest. Which of the following responses is correct? It is inhalation. If they tell me it's IV, which a lot of people think it is, but I have actually learned, and this was a nurse practitioner school, they told me it was actually inhalation. The reason why is because when you give someone an IV injection, basically it has to go through the heart to the brain. When you inhale something, because of the way that it's going straight to the lungs first, that way you kind of bypass the first couple chambers of the heart. Client is being seen for treatment of gout. Client is in the acute stage of an attack of gouty arthritis. Which of the following signs and symptoms should they assess? Pain and inflammation, definitely. An actual slide of like their skin, you'll probably see uric acid crystals, but I don't think you're gonna physically see that with your eyes. So you're probably gonna see pain and inflammation for sure, redness, oh yeah, swollen joints. Sucks. A nurse is caring for a newborn with an opiate-addicted mother three days ago. That's sad. Which of the following would be most concerning for the assessment? Having to wake for feedings. Stuff, stools, first day of life. I feel like that's normal. One sneeze during assessment, waste loss, and 10% since delivery. I feel like within three days, and that kind of expected. Probably having to wake for feedings. Uh, that would mean that baby is sleeping an awful a lot. I'm going to go with this one. It seems like the baby is too sedated. I feel like they should be waking up for feedings, but I could be wrong. I'm not a pediatric nurse. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and call it quits here, but you can see, I can see that this is very much NCLEX-y, uh, very much so. The questions are totally NCLEX-like questions. I don't know if these questions are being pulled from their entire database of 6,000 questions. I'm sure they are, um, but they're very good. I like them. They sound like actual NCLEX questions for sure. The way that this is working, um, I'm going to trust that it's doing the correct thing and giving me a lot of hard questions. Uh, it certainly is giving me a lot in a category that I don't like with pregnancy and children and stuff like that. So for me, it seems tough. Uh, so I hope I'm passing, but we're going to just go ahead and exit it here. I understand it's to simulate the real thing. And yes, I'm going to exit. Anyways, um, this is essentially what you're going to get, guys, with nursing.com. And like I said, um, more than anything else, I want to go on the success rate of what they have had with their students. So they have had over 270,000 nursing students. Um, I think that's actually their active number. It said they have had over 300,000 actually have used it in the past. With that being said, they did a random sampling of all of their people. They said 99.42% pass rate. 
that's just bananas. I mean, it's better than anyone else who I've seen so far. And like I said, they're giving that 200% money back guarantee. That just tells me they are so confident that their product is actually going to succeed. The NCLEX statistics for people, uh, I think everybody who takes the NCLEX um, at best is about an 88% pass rate on the first attempt. So that's probably why they're comfortable giving that 200% money back guarantee, just because they, they know that, you know, realistically, you're not going to have to refund that very often just based on that. You're also going to get an NCLEX book here. If you click on that, we'll see what happens. Oh, look at that. It's like a nice little book. I like the animation. That's pretty cool. Wow, this is like an actual textbook. This is 466 pages, by the way. Got a bunch of references. Oh, that's good. So they're actually sorting all the references and everything. Nice. Okay, very good. It's talking how it works, about how like it uses computer adaptive testing, getting that 95% confidence interval. It's it, um, And it's talking about like the various types of cutoff, like the run out of time rule, the... Um, confidence interval and everything like that. So that's good. It's good to understand the NCLEX um, because it's, it's such a different test, guys. I mean, you're going to think probably going into it that you're doing so badly because of the way that it works. Like if you're getting questions right, it's going to keep giving you more and more challenging questions to try to get you to miss one. That's just the way the computer is trying to work because that way you can figure out what level of testing you have. Basically, it wants every next question that it gives you for you to have about a 50% chance of getting it right or getting it wrong. That's just the way that it wants to work. Your regular tests in nursing school aren't like that. Maybe you have 20 questions. If you miss two questions, well, then you've gotten an 18 out of 20, and that's your score. This is a lot different. You can actually get about a 50% on the NCLEX and still pass it so long as you're testing at a high level. So basically, if you get the first couple questions right, you're probably bumping up from the passing threshold. You're above it now. And now for the rest of the test, if you get every other question right and wrong, you are going to do just fine because basically you're just going to stay at that level that you're already at, which is above the passing threshold. It doesn't really matter the percentage you get so long as you're testing at a high level. Um, it's going to feel weird. It's going to feel like you don't know what you're doing because the computer is purposely challenging you and purposely trying to get you to answer questions wrong. It sucks. It's like psychological warfare. You just have to remember it in the back of your mind like this is not the same test I'm used to taking. This is a computer adaptive test. It's okay. It's allowed to feel weird and I'm allowed to feel like I'm failing. In fact, the more you feel like you're failing, honestly, probably the better you're doing. Um, as backward as it sounds, I mean, that's just the way that it is. So this is nice. They're going to give you this giant textbook. I'm not going to read the whole thing on paper here. So guys, that was a little inside look here at nursing.com's NCLEX program. So I want you guys to be able to come over here and try this out for free for three days. So go ahead and click the link down in the description. Head over, use the code NURSEJANKS, get yourself free three-day access, and explore it. See if you guys think that this is something that you want to use. I like it. What matters the most is results, guys, and these guys are delivering. So that being said, I think they're definitely worth checking out. Like I said, try them out, see what you guys think. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this, please give me a big thumbs up. That'd be appreciated. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you guys. And as always, subscribe to our channel for future videos, and we will see you guys in the next one. Take care.